Hello from FinishFirstSU.com and welcome to this final video where we're going to talk about indexing of all the previous tiers. Make sure to watch the previous videos where we talked about tier 1, tier 2 and tier 3 on link building. The links are in the description below this video so I hope that you will find these videos very useful for you. Now let's open this file and talk about the tier 4 or I call it indexing of everything so we want to get everything indexed now for this purpose we can use indexing services a lot of services don't work a lot of services out there actually are pretty much scams and or they used to work but few months or few even few years ago so make sure to do your own due diligence when checking what services to use now I suggest using um, for example two three services and you want to add all of your tier one links for drip fit indexing usually you can add them for for example one or two weeks depending on how many links you have actually built then you want to add the tier 2 links and you can add them with the same uh, drip feed option and I, I'll, what I mean is that you want to use the same number of days so for example if you add tier 1 links for 7 days then you want to do the same for tier 2 links and after that what we have is indexing of the tier 3 links and you want to first uh, of course index all the newly created pages uh, for the non-contextual links and you also want to index all the contextual links then what I suggest is using social signals for your tier 1 contextual links this means for for example for your uh, guest post links uh, for your article links, for um, links coming from networks that you have used or that you have built on your own because you see that you get much uh, faster and better results when putting social signals to your first tier backlinks and finally what you can do is to use already indexed sites or uh, pages and submit um, HTML files at these sites for indexing purposes and I suggest we have some network of sites which are built for the sole purpose of indexing your backlinks and eventually what you want to do as well is to point backlinks to this indexing and to these sites built for indexing purposes because the, this will increase the crawling late rate sorry by the google bot and of course by other bots as well so it definitely makes sense to do that and the way to do the indexing is for example you can create a simple html file now let's do this this is how our file will look like and you want to use Excel and this is what you want to have in uh, this column A and you copy this down to the bottom uh, depending on the number of backlinks that you have here we have the links here uh, we can have site 2, site 3, site 4, etc. And you know, these are our backlinks. Now we have this, which is closing. Um, this href. Then we have this. And then we have this. Alright, so pretty basic. And you copy all of this here. Then you can remove the actual spaces. So you can Google remove extra spaces and go to textmechanic.com and paste this. See how it looks like. We want to remove all spaces. Click remove and then after that what we want to do is to uh, copy them to new file. Alright, so let's save and I'll open this 
in Notepad++ and just replace this uh, with href but we have space here because this is the correct format so replace all and these are our backlinks so we copy them we paste them uh, for example in this file here links then file save and just uh, quickly save with index html if you want to upload this file to the root directory of your website so I'll actually open this with Chrome and see how it looks like. Now, what you want is to use the Webmaster tools to submit your site for crawling or indexing. And you see that um, it will get crawled in seconds. Some of the links will start to index and in the next few days or weeks or whatever, you see that um, most of the links will get indexed if um, the platforms can be indexed and of course if your content and backlinks are of good quality All right, so let's close this and continue with some important notes the above strategy I mean the General tiered link building strategy that I outlined in this video series uh, in the last four videos with this one works for all types of keywords it works for low competitive keywords for medium competitive keywords and even for high competitive keywords but the harder the niche the more links you have to build and usually the more links should be built on the tier 2 links and you want to use stronger links um, for this reason if you want to push the keywords higher in the SERPs in the shortest possible uh, time frame then you can use very strong homepage links you can use paid links on premium sites such as Forbes uh, business Huffington Post etc and another trick is to use a network which is powered by SAP links or for matter of fact any other Russian network but SAP is the biggest one because the sole, the sole purpose of the tiered link building is to push a link juice. Uh, the other purpose is a link indexing. But it makes sense to make your tier 1 links as strong as possible. This is the reason why you want to have the highest number of links of the tier 2. Uh, I mean, of course, the tier 3 links will be more in quantity, but you won't have, again, very big number of tier 2 links. They can be in a ratio of 120, 150, 100 and even more. And for the third tier um, links, then you have a little bit lower ratio, you can, ratio sorry, you have 1 to 10 or even 1 to 5, 1 to 20. It depends on your resources. So, this is pretty much about the second point. And I suggest to use uh, SAP links, or for a matter of fact, any links from Russian networks, um, with great caution, because if you don't know what you're doing, you can simply get penalized and use your website and all the effort all the efforts will be in vain and for our own sites we can use more black hat links directly to the website of course we're doing this for testing purposes because we are testing different strategies all the time even though we know what works we know uh, what will work for your niche just by analyzing it um, and analyzing your site after for example after a few hours we'll know the exact and the best strategy to rank your site in the fastest possible time frame but of course remember that any strategy should be customized according to your specific niche and competition this is a template that we use for most of our sites but we do customize everything in order to get uh, even faster results because any strategy should be customized 
uh, in order to suit your uh, needs in order to get the fastest rankings and of course to keep these rankings because simply put what you want to do in any niche for that matter is to be better than your competitors so always build links with quality in mind and if you do that you will never be penalized but of course make sure to watch your anchor text ratios as well and use the high quality um, content that you can get your hands on so thank you for watching i hope that this video series was aware of great use for you and i'll see you soon in the next videos that we are going to create make sure to like share and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching